the molecules in solid and liquid are closer as compared to gas and sound travel through the molecule so we can say that sound will travel more faster in liquids and solid as compared to gas sound travel through the molecules and the molecules in gases are separated very at very high rate clear second point so next point can be termed as sound waves cannot move through a vacuum they need a medium that molecule can be considered as a medium okay that molecules in solids liquids and some part of gases can be considered as medium so sound waves need a medium and it cannot move through a vacuum Our next heading is decibels. So, can anyone <coughs> tell what is decibel? any of you heard the word decibel tanvi this is science not maths this is decibel not decimal decimal is of maths this is science so can anyone tell about the decibels so saksham is saying measurement of sound anyone else so let's see decibel is the unit to measure the sound okay its intensity or loudness we measure the length in terms of meter centimeter kilometer we measure the time in terms of second in similar way we measure the sound in terms of decibel okay okay tanvi this is decibel not decimal decimal is of maths decibel is of physics next it is saying that loudness corresponds to the amplitude of wave we have seen the 
wave of sound so <clears throat> that wave gives the output in terms of decibel and the loudness corresponds the amplitude more the loudness more will be the amplitude so the graph will show the value in terms of decibel after this the point is sound greater than 120 decibel can cause pain in human ears okay it cause pain in human ears if we hear the sound greater than 120 decibel it will create pain in our ears so with this point what we can consider we can consider this that we can hear the sound only below 120 decibel if the sound range is more than 120 it can cause pain it can create problem to our ears so the sound heard easily and comfortably for human ears is zero to 120 means between 0 and 120 we can hear the clear sound okay and it is termed as audible sound the range of sound the measurement of sound which we measure from the graph with its unit decibel if the unit decibel containing the range from 0 to 120 it is audible sound and beyond 120 it create problem while hearing okay so what are the sounds that are below 0 uh, can anyone say the sounds smaller than 0 can be termed as sub audible sound okay any sound anything below 0 decibel is considered <coughs> as sub audible sound just like 100 cm 100 meter 100 km we are having a single unit of sound that is decibel so 0 decibel 1 decibel 2 decibel these are the unit units and measurement of sound and if we go to the audible sound the range to which a human can hear easily is between 0 and 120 okay
sorry for the technical error so done everyone this everyone written can i rub the upper portion So our next heading is pitch. Pitch decides how high or low a sound is. If we are considering the sound as too loud or too soft, that is considered in terms of pitch. so high pitch means high frequency and the sound will be high low pitch means low frequency and the sound will be soft okay now next point says that humans can hear the pitches that have a frequency between 20 hertz to 20000 hertz that means here we are now considering the frequency in <coughs> not decibel the decibel was 0 to 120 but in terms of frequency we are using 20 hertz to 20000 hertz okay that is the hearing capacity of humans after that it will create problem H Z is, you can say, the unit of frequency is hertz. H E R T Z. In short, it is denoted as H Z. Okay, it is the frequency. And what is the frequency? It is the reciprocal of time period. The frequency of India is 50 hertz, and of America is 60 hertz. This is calculated in terms of time period. The time period India and other countries took. for the proper rotation okay hz is the unit of frequency that is hertz in short it is termed defined as hz next point is pitches having frequency more than 20 hertz are termed as ultrasonic okay you have heard the word ultrasonic waves so that are sound waves 
more than 20000 more than hearing capacity of human are termed as ultrasonic sound and if we go below 20 hertz we will term that frequency as subsonic waves the pitches below 20 hertz are termed as subsonic more than 20000 hertz are termed as ultrasonic clear this thing clear this topic now next heading is doppler effect we have to understand this also doppler effect so the doppler effect here states that a change in frequency or pitch of a sound that is caused by either the movement of source or the observer is termed as means if you go away from the sound box or sound box move away from you this effect can cause doppler effect okay understand the word sentences very clearly the movement of source that means sound box and the observer that means you either you move away from the sound box or sound box move away from you so clear this thing the moment of source and the moment of observer okay this you can this you have observed in i think ganesh festival when you have heard the dj's anyone i have noticed that when the dj is going away from you and you are going away from the dj then the sound effect changes how many of you have observed yes chaitanya sir i have observed that like, sir when yeah, i was sir, in delhi i was very near so sir the sound was coming quite good but as i uh, went far away so hmm. sir the sound was very low one more example is there when the dj box is in front of your house then the sound will be more and when the box is in front of the gully or road the sound will decrease because the waves will move throughout the road that is why sound level will decrease and if it is in front of your house it will directly hit to the walls of your house okay
so everyone understood what chaitanya has told you can see it as reflection of sound when it is in front of the wall it will reflect the sound waves so you you will get more sound and when it is in front of the road or gully it cannot reflect it will go throughout the road so the sound will be less or we can say the pitch will be less one more example i am giving the sound of ambulance ambulance siren you have heard everyone when it approaches to the listener means observer you will get more sound and when it goes away the sound decreases so examples are clear everyone anyone having any doubt now next heading resonance anyone heard this name resonance can anyone tell about this resonance Yes, Chaitanya. Yes, sir. Can I tell what is meaning of resonance? Yes, tell. Sir, means resonance means the quality of sound. Quality like, of sound. For example, it is very deep. It is full, etc. Okay. Anyone else? Anyone else? the resonance is the vibration of an object at its natural frequency the plain definition in terms of sound uh, sorry in, in terms of science is the vibrant the vibration of an object okay we know that sound is produced due to vibration so the vibration of an object with its natural frequency means we don't have to apply any of the external agency its natural frequency will decide a particular motion and that motion of vibration is termed as resonance example windows rattle when the sound from a passing truck matches with the windows natural resonance so as you can hear the sound of train coming to you also so if the any vehicle train of uh, 
truck or heavy vehicle passes through a particular building or house we can hear a particular sound that is natural okay that is natural means that is the sound of train that is the sound of that truck so that is termed as resonance of that truck or train clear everyone anyone having any doubt anywhere and we disha rashi gunjan chaitanya any doubt clear everything next one more line is there in this acoustics i think everyone have gone to the theater or multiplex that works under the <clears throat> principle of or science of acoustics and what is acoustics the control of noise and vibration that causes noise we can hear the sound of a movie only inside the theater not outside the gate also so that is due to the acoustics okay so clear this acoustics any doubt anyone having